Hello, I am in uh, central Bratislava, the capital of Slo Slovakia, and I am opposite a very interesting uh, sculpture. It's a fountain, it's now shut down because it's winter time, so they don't let the water um, on in winter. And uh, it's called Earth, a planet, the planet of peace, which I thought was a very interesting title for this sort of um, uh, sculpture, Earth, a planet of peace and uh, it's right opposite the presidential palace here in uh, in Bratislava so I thought it would be a nice uh, spot to make a little video and reflect on what that, that really means for us Earth, the planet of peace um, I mean if you look at the, at, the, at the planet as a whole humanity lives in the planet Earth we live here but uh, the planet itself is um, independent of us the planet doesn't really need us to keep go, keep on you know spinning <laughs> but we do need the planet to, to survive so it's a, it's a question of what are we really doing to the planet I know there is a lot of skeptics out there that think that climate change is not real and I can attest to you it is real it is happening it is palpable I've been walking uh, through Europe for the last two years and uh, walking the land you can see i mean even today the weather is kind of really bright sunny there is no it's not very cold it's, there's no there's no minor temperatures so it's um i think it's about four or five degrees today it's a little bit cold but it's not like minus temperatures or snow or rain and uh, one of the most uh, common sentences that i've heard through my walk um, through europe is we've never had this weather before so i crossed uh, for example i crossed uh, poland there was not much rain, there was just a little bit of drizzle. Um, there were moments in when I was in Switzerland and Germany, there were people complaining, especially in the countryside and farmers, complaining about uh, not enough rain, not enough water, the reservoirs were not full. And then um, also in southern Spain, uh, there are uh, sudden rains, so the, 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 the grounds have been dried, and then all of a sudden there's like uh, floods. So it is really happening at our doorstep already. It's not something that is, uh, you can see most dramatic happening in Australia with the fires and the Amazon and Siberia. So we all um, are experiencing through the news. And if you get out of cities and you ask people, a farm especially, you can see that there has been an impact on, uh, on the climate change and global warming and how that has an effect on everything, you know, from food supplies to to wrestle was a water so um, I thought it was um, a good point to to sorry my arm is getting a bit tired <laughs> this is uh, a good spot to to start you know thinking about earth planet of peace and um, I just thought to to really consider you know so that every single action that we do every single thing that we choose on our daily life has an impact on the planet and by that it means that it might not look like that to you you know from home and you just do one thing and but you have to realize that everything you do if you have access to it many more people have access to that too and by that i mean products plastics you know um oil petrol all these sort of things that we as a as a consumerist society have plentiful and is this i think this is the, the the issue here i think the most important thing to think about is consumerism so consumerism and um, this idea of the capitalist society where you have perpetual growth is not working and it's having an impact on the planet because the planet has finite resources and uh, and is exploiting the natural world and is exploiting the the um, the natural resources that you know like water minerals and also you have to think about um, what are the, the the consequences of the choices that we make from what we choose daily from what you buy you know you go to the supermarket and you buy certain products and we don't really know if those products are um, are done ethically if they've been um, if the, the companies actually are not exploiting people or resources of the natural world and uh, we started to think about what we can do to for the benefit of the bigger you know the bigger um, society the planet at all so that's the thing i thought just to explain today